Okay, Nicholas, I challenge you to draw Pikachu in eight different art styles. In today's video, I'm not drawing in four art styles. I'm not drawing in five art styles. I'm gonna be drawing Pikachu in eight Bruh. art styles. The first thing that I gotta do is I gotta divide the page into eight equal quadrants. We always gotta start off with the normal side. The reason we start with the normal side is so we have a good reference of what the picture is supposed to look like for the rest of the video. Wait a second, that's not supposed to be brown. <laughs> Don't mind me, just messing it up already. All right, we're almost done outlining. We are doing the finishing touches. How does the normal Pikachu look? Now we're going to the next style, which is gonna be pixel. I used to get asked to draw this effect so many times. Now I have hardly drawn the pixel effect. Let me know if this is something you like or if you think it could have been better. Now that we got the outlining done, let's go in and finish the coloring, which it shouldn't take too long since most of it is yellow and a little bit of it is red. Three, two, one. How did it turn out? I love the pixel effect. All right, what's next? Ice. Now don't laugh yet. I know, how are you gonna draw the ice effect? Well, it's fairly easy since majority of the drawing is white. Ta-da! On to the fourth part, drip. Let's do a magic trick. Did you like that? I absolutely love the drip effect and I know exactly what you guys were thinking. I was gonna give Pikachu some bling bling. Well, no, no I am not. I'm gonna start the outlining process right now. I just did the highlights and the shadows to give it more depth to make it look 3D and pop out. So does this look cool or what? Next art style I want you to draw in is the fire art style. Let's see how you do. Oh, Red Eagle Art, you want me to do fire? Where is that? Ah, there it is. All right, fire effect. I love the fire effect. And if you guys seen my series of elemental, I drew so many fire effects. I know there was a lot of you guys that loved my drawings from elemental. So you're probably gonna like this fire effect. I start off with a very light color of yellow and then move into a medium orange. So then I can take my medium yellow and blend them together. And here I'm doing that now. The fire effect has always been one of my favorites just because I love to draw flames. Now I'm gonna take a darker orange and kind of outline the majority of the drawing. And then I use this dark red to outline the whole drawing. The dark red will make it look cartoony, but I like that effect a lot. It doesn't look like necessarily realistic flames, but look at that. All right, next part, wood. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you know I'm addicted to this wood effect. I don't know why. I just think that it looks so clean when it's all said and done so if you are at home and you want to draw this wood effect all you got to do is take your lightest brown marker and you're going to do a base coat of that and when you are done you're going to take a slightly darker brown and you're going to just start making some squiggly doodads and some straight lines to make it look like bark and then when you're done with that you're going to take your darkest brown and you're going to outline the rest of the drawing and this is going to make it pop. All right, guys, next style is going to be glow. With glow effect, you have guys seen it on my channel quite a bit. Now, how does one person do the glow effect? As you can see, I start by outlining the whole drawing and then coloring the outsides of it black. The black causes 
everything else to pop. With the glow effect, you wanna have multiple of the same colors. In your first outline, you wanna use the lightest color. And then you're gonna outline around the light color a darker shade of that color. So as you can see, I did yellow, and now I'm doing a darker yellow around the outside. So when this is all said and done, it should pop it and make it look like a neon light. Ta-da! Look at that. That looks so cool. All right. Last style is the water effect. I love the water effect. Have you guys seen Wade Ripple? Yes, from Elemental. He is such an awesome guy. I loved drawing elements. I can't get through to you guys enough. Anywho, with the water effect, you just want to use various shades of blues, some purples, and then you're just going to have fun with it. And when we're all done with the colors, we're going to add some white to give it some highlights to make it look a little bit more 3D. When you're drawing the water effect, the crucial thing that you never want to forget is to add the white highlights. And also, make sure you add a little bit of bubbles, because bubbles are always fun to have in your drawings. All right, guys, now this is done. We have completed this drawing of Pikachu in eight different art styles. First off, we got pixel, then drip, wood, water, neon, fire, ice, and normal. That concludes today's video. Make sure you go check out Red Eagle Art and subscribe to him. He is extremely talented. And while you're at it, subscribe to me too. If you guys made it this far, I just want you guys to know that I love hearing from you guys. So make sure you leave a nice comment on your favorite art style. And also, what would be a cool character to draw next in multiple styles? If you haven't watched my latest Pomni drawing in five different art styles, make sure to check it out. Red Eagle Art is in this video. He did five effects of Pomni as well. And it was a very clever, cool idea. I loved it. Make sure you go watch it. Bye, guys.